welcome friends to today's session of live lectures for today's session we have with us in our studio dr mansaf alam dr alam is associate professor in jamia millia islamia under department of computer science dr alam is going to discuss a topic of big data analytics which would be a series of topics or programs into which the first topic or first part would be introduction to big data let's welcome dr mansaf alam and let's start with big data and anal analytics we welcome you dr alam and let's start with big data analytics thank you ma'am hello friend myself dr mansaf alam associate professor department of computer science jamia millia islamia friend today uh, i will discuss about the big data introductions that is the new series of uh, big data analytics in the big data i will discuss today what is exactly big data what are the sources of big data and how we can manage big data so let us see here first big data the human face of big data how data are stored in your brain whether the data of brain is a big data of course you can say the data stored in brain is a example of big data because in your brain image data are stored picture and the picture data image data sound data video data all types of data are stored in your brain and in your brain data that may be a structured unstructured in the semi structure so you can say brain data is a big data but uh, how these all data are managed it is managed naturally so there are four activities take place in brain to manage the data friend you know there are input output devices for the computer similarly various input output organs uh, in a human being to input the data to the brain let us see what are the four uh, various uh, category of uh, uh, steps operation performed naturally first one is the attention as soon as you be attentive your all input output organs will be activated so with the help of your input organs data will be transferred to the brain and that data will go first into the short term memory there are two type of memory in a human being first one is known as the uh, short term memory and the second one long term memory so first data transfer to the short term memory uh, and a human being uh, here here is a input organ through here you can get the data from uh, uh, i you can also get the data in a certain brain and uh, other uh, skin also get the data so after uh, getting the data in the short uh, term memory there is a another kind of activities take place that is the rehearsal so that is the repeat again and again in asking the question what what how and the why after uh, uh, getting the data and clearly it and it will transfer to the short term memory to long term memory with the help of a process that is known as the encoding process so encoding process uh, transfer the data from short term memory to long term memory and that data will be stored there and that data may be the sound data image data text data any type of data that will be transferred to the long term memory and that will be stored in a frame in the last uh, step uh, started that is known as the retrieval whenever you get the uh, input from any input uh, organs and that will search from your long term memory and uh, transfer it to short term and uh, uh, and your output devices output organs will give the output so in this way these uh, four activities take place in your brain to manage the data that all are managed naturally so similarly in a, a real life we can develop a devices uh, to manage the real life data huge amount of data are generated in the real world it is a very challenging job to manage these all data 
so uh, that is the one example that is naturally managed but we artificially manage the various data generated so let us see first uh, what exactly the big data so first time nasa scientist uh, uh, used the concept or term big data in his uh, in their research paper in 1997 and they identified the problem that challenge faced in virtual visualizations and computer graphics so described as provide an interesting challenge for computer systems and in other term you can define the big data the data which is not able to cope up with the existing architecture so that data term is a big data or you can say in general the huge amount of uh, data generated uh, that is in petabyte and jettabyte that is called the big data means the traditional processing system traditional applications to process data is not able to process such data that data is known as the big data but there are uh, various definitions of big data according to the ibm uh, the data having the 4v uh, that is known as the volume variety veracity and value according to that that is known as the big data let us see what exactly is the big data prop so huge amount of data that may be in the petabyte and jettabyte the collection of large and complex data set a huge amount of data and nature of data are complex and that all complex data in large amount of data collection that term as the big data and it is very difficult to process using the traditional system we have a traditional system for processing the data general data that is the structured data and we can easily process it but the data is a, a complex and huge so the traditional system is not going to process the data so many tools are available that only process the uh, structured data just like a relational database data are stored in the tabular form and that can be easily uh, processed with the help of existing database tools but that database tools is not uh, able to process the big data because its nature is complex and huge amount and uh, various uh, form data that not able to store in the databases so let us see here exactly big data problems so data set are quite large huge amount of data uh, having so it is not possible to accommodate in the main memory local disk even an remote disk so huge amount of data not able to manage stored in the local memory main uh, memory remote disk so that is the problem so we can refer it to as a big data problem because first you have to store the data in the main memory or uh, local disk then you can start the process otherwise processing is not possible without storing the data in the main memory so when data set do not fit in main memory in core or local disk the most common solution is to acquire more resources so you have to acquire more resources to process the data when you are storing the data in the main memory then various resources are required to process the data unless until if you are not able to store the data in the main memory you can't start the processing for that you have to acquire more resources for solving the big data problems so friend let us see here in what scenario a amount of uh, data big data uh, stored in the whole world what are the scenario let us see here according to the volume high volume so let us see in north america that uh, generate data stored data greater than 3500 this is the huge uh, amount of data generated in the north america this is the first one and the largest one where big data generated and the uh, stored that is 3500 and uh, next uh, that is the uh, middle east 
their data stored that is the big data stored that is the 200 and greater than that generated and stored in the latent. And let us see the scenario of Europe in a Europe greater than 2000 petabyte data generated and stored in Europe. And let us see the conditions of China in a China 250 petabyte uh, big data stored uh, and also generated. If you say uh, about the Japan, so there are 400 petabyte data uh, that uh, data is big data is stored and generated. And if you are talking about the Latin America, they are only greater than 50 petabyte data generated stored that all are the big data and just uh, see here uh, in uh, India, in India only 50 petabyte data generated and uh, stored. So, in the whole world the biggest uh, problems of uh, big data and the challenges for the North America because huge amount of big data are uh, stored there in the North America and the least country that is known as the Latin America and the India. In uh, India, uh, less amount of uh, big data are generated only greater than 50 petabyte and you can also the challenges in the Europe, they are also creating the data greater than 2000. So, there is a problem to manage that all data that is why in America and Europe people started a new course that is known as the master in data science, MS in data science to manage and handle the huge amount of data. So, friend, this is all about the volume of data, big uh, data challenges in case of volume. Now, let us see here another characteristics you can say that is the variety. So, in the case of variety, how data are generated? So, data generated uh, through people to people communications. There is a communications of data from people to people communications, another data communication that is people to machine means machine is going to interact with the people, people is going to interact with the machine, there are a huge amount of data also generated and machine to machine communication. So, one and more than one machines are communicating to each other without uh, human intervention. So, there are also data generated. So, let us see here details in the variety. First one that is the people to people communication. So, here NetGene, virtual communities and social networking weblog. That means, you are going to exchange the message uh, with your friend. That means, you are using the social network site. So, just like a uh, Facebook, you are interacting with your friend. You are uploading the data on the Facebook. Uh, so, many people are uploading the data on the Facebook and you are also communicating the data through the uh, WhatsApp and uh, there is also a weblog uh, somewhere where uh, there are a history data and all uh, link break and their data are uh, stored. So, huge amount of data also generated uh, there when you are going to communicate uh, data from people to people that come under the variety. Another uh, way to generate the data that is the people to machine communication when you are going to communicate from machine to people how data are generated. So, you are going to store the data in a machine for future use that means you are going to archive the data for 1 year, for 2 year, for 10 years and the huge amount data will be archived. Why are you going to archive the data, store the data? Sometimes whenever data are required, you can get that data from there. So, the uh, storing the data and archiving the data that come under the people to machine. Another that is the medical devices also generate the huge amount of data, medical device you are some doctors are going to use the machine to get information from the people from the patients. So, that is the data and that data communications uh, you can say people to machine. Another that is the digital TV. So, the communications between the digital only human being are watching it, but machines is communicating it. E-commerce is also come under the, the 
people to machines communications and their data are generated that also come under the variety in the smart card people are using the smart card people uh, going to market and swipe the card uh, and get everything so huge amount of data are also generated there that is also the big data and you can say it is the variety and come under the people to machine and bank card if you are using the bank card that also come under the uh, people to machine uh, various banks are uh, available in the real world they are providing the various types of card master card visa card and you are using and there you are communicating the data your data are going to be transferred from if you are going to purchase something you have to swap your card so your uh, data will be generated there and we similarly various people's are swapping the cards a huge amount of data are generated there that also uh, uh, give the birth of big data huge amount of data data that is the petabyte and the zettabyte uh, and the computers uh, computers also people are using the computer then human being is using it so that is also the people to machine interaction so with the help of computer you are generating various document designing the graphics etc so there also huge amount of a uh, data in the mobile phone of course right now people are using the mobile phone one mobile phone two mobile phone three mobile phone. so many mobile phones are people are using and they are communicating the voice and text etc so huge amount of data so that communications from people to machine and third uh, that is known as the machine to machine communication sensors so more than one sensor are interacting to each other while interacting to each other they are generating a huge amount of data and you can also say gps devices that come under machine to machines there also data are generated barcoding a scanner you are scoring, uh, uh, scanning the price of the product then barcode a scanner that come under the machine to machine communications and surveillance camera you are using the surveillance camera and people are using the surveillance camera at various places that means these are many uh, camera are interacting to each other and this camera also interact with the computer getting the picture and video and transfer it the machine so layer here one device that machine is the camera another is the computer so it automatically taking the pictures video photographs and transfer to the machine their data are stored so no requirement of a human being there to handle it so that uh, directly communicate between communication take place between the machine to machine scientific research also come under the machine to machine so friend that uh, that all about the variety and th uh, second one that is the velocity that all are the survey of uh, uh, ibm and wipro I am uh, discussing about the uh, variety, velocity and the volume that again the survey, uh, what the survey says, velocity. Let us see uh, in the case of mail, you are sending an email to various people and various people are communicating with the help of email. So, what is the word scenario of email? Friend, you know 2.9 million emails sent every second. In one second, 2.9 million are um, mail message sent that message is e, uh, that that is known as the email not the whatsapp message and the messaging only for the email you are using the gmail yahoo hotmail and from that you are sending the message so that record told us 22.2.9 million email sent every second so you can imagine what amount of data are generated every second if in the uh, one second 2.9 million data generated so what about the one uh, uh, minutes uh, 60 second 24 hour means huge amount of data will be generated every day and that is the challenging to manage it m maintain it store it if you are talking about the youtube what is the scenario of youtube how many video are uploaded every minute so let us see here 20 hours of video uploaded every minute means in one minute 20 hours of video are uploaded so you can imagine that in one hour how many videos are uh, uploaded and uh, in this way you can uh, guess it in one day a huge amount of uh, video uh, are uh, stored on the tube uh, YouTube so there is lot of data generated so let us see here there is also the challenges to maintain and manage the YouTube 
data so youtube data people are doing the research uh, doing the analytics uh, using the youtube and the movie it is etc so uh, if you are talking about the twitter so 50 million tweet per day so you can imagine what is the what amount of data generated in the one month because uh, uh, this uh, uh, twitter is used by the less people uh, not everyone are using the tweet but youtube email whatsapp facebook are used by every citizen but uh, twitter are used by less people so less data are generated uh, in the case of Twitter, so that all about the velocity, how uh, at what speed data are generated and the data are communicated. So, friend, let us see here one uh, that is also the part of the that's uh, survey. Fifty-seven point six percent of organization surveyed say that big data is a challenge. Means out of hundred, only fifty-seven point six people are realizing it that the big data is a great challenge and we have to face the challenges and we have to solve the problems how to manage store and process the data and the another case of that survey 72.7 percent consider driving operational efficiencies to be the biggest benefit of big data industries so let us see here people are saying the efficiency that uh, give the benefit of big data strategies that come under this survey that is 72.7 percent if you are talking about the demand and the facilities so 50 percent uh, 50 percent says that big data help in better meeting consumer demand and the facilities so friend that all about the big data challenges and the biggest benefit of big data strategy and that also help in better meeting consumer demand and the facilities. So, let us see about the value another uh, that is uh, the characteristics and the parameter used in that survey. So, that is the productivity increase and the sales increase the first digit uh, that uh, in uh, term of percentage that is known as the productivity increase and in the case of a dollar that is the sell increase so let us see first here what about the value that is the parameter used in the survey key retails so that is the 49 percent productivity increased and uh, uh, 9.6 billion dollar increase in sales that is on the top that is the retails and if you are talking about the consulting so that is the 5.0 billion dollar increase and in case of air transportation 21 percent productivity increase and 4.3 billion dollar sales increase so that all about the about the value and now let us see here <coughs> 40 per percent projected growth in global data created per year. So, you can imagine only 40 percent that is uh, globally data created per year and if you are talking about it the projected growth in the global IT spending per year that is 5 percent. So, the estimated size of the B uh, digital in universe in 2000 now let us see here some scenario of 2011 and uh, after 11 to 2020 what is the scenario here let us see here so that is estimated the size of digital universe in 2011 was 1.8 gigabyte so according to the, that survey uh, in the 2011 the, the uh, digital universe data that was estimated that uh, 1.8 gigabyte but uh, it is predicted that between 2009 and 2020 this is the projection from 2009 to 2020 this data will grow 44 folds to 35 gigabytes 
per year. So, huge amount of data is going to be generated up to 2020. So, people have to face many challenges to manage the big data, to process the big data and predict something from that big data. So, that is the problems and the challenges. So, a well defined data management strategy is essential to success fully utilize big data. That means, mm, here is the problems of uh, big data management. So, people have to think and develop uh, a, a strategy uh, how to manage, how to uh, store, how to process for utilize the successful big data. Otherwise, we have to face the problem. So, in coming future, people are doing the research on big data analytics and uh, this is the uh, latest uh, field. Uh, friends, you can also try to do some research in this uh, big data analytics because you have to play with the data and with the huge amount of data and uh, if you are doing good uh, research in this, it means you can also do some research on the YouTube data. Uh, how can you do this if you want to know uh, uh, how many uh, uh, video are uploaded in per year and what are the uh, strategy to store, how to get it easily. So, friend, this is uh, all about the and that, that all about the survey. So, I had discussed uh, about the volume, what amount of uh, volume, what uh, amount of data are generated in the real world. Also, I told you about the variety and the velocity of data and also the value of data. So, that all uh, about the survey, uh, that is the survey of uh, uh, Wipro and the people uh, uh, intimated us uh, and uh, he how amount of data are going to be stored and what is the projections uh, up to 2020. So, huge amount of data will be generated, then you have to think the better strategy to manage it and get some useful informations. So, friends, uh, thank you very much. I will discuss more uh, after the short break. Thank you, Dr. Alam. And we thank you all for watching this part of this uh, live lecture. We'll meet you after a break. But before going on to the break, we'll uh, let you know that if you have any questions regarding this session, you may call us on our toll-free number, which is one eight double zero double one zero four three zero. We'll meet you after the break. Welcome back friends. 
before going on to the break we were discussing about the big data analytics and this is the part one of the series on big data analytics which is introduction to big data. We have with us in our studio Dr. Mansaf Ali. Before moving on to further on to the topic, I would like to request you if you have any questions regarding this session of the live lecture, you may call us on our toll free number in the last 10 minutes of the lecture. And for that, please note down our toll free number which is 1-800-110-430. Let us welcome Dr. Alam once again and start with the topic. We welcome you Dr. Alam once again and please start Thank with you. the topic. Hello friend. Myself, Dr. Mansaf Alam, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science, Jamia Mil Islamia. Uh, before uh, going on break, I was discussing about the Vipro survey, about the uh, velocity, variety, and the value, what are the word scenario about the big data, and how the big data are generated, and what are the projections uh, up to 2020. Let us now see here, what are the challenges and that uh, faced by the human being to manage the data. First one, capture. Second one, curations. A storage, searching, sharing, transfer, analysis, and visualizations. These are the major challenges with the big data. So, capturing is a problem when you are going to capture the big data, you will face the problems. You are not, uh, it is not easy to capture the data. You have to face uh, a lot of problems in the capturing the data in a curation is also you have to face the difficulty and if you are going to store the data it is very tedious task to store the big data because there is no proper format of it it is the on a structure semi structure and a structure that all combined all together so people are facing a lot of problem to store the data if you are able to store the data the next challenge that uh, people are facing that is the searching searching is not the easy task for the big data you are you having the image photographs uh, and uh, also the video so searching is a very difficult for the people so that is the big data and the challenges is searching and you are also facing we are also facing the challenges of big data that is the sharing sharing is also a problem and the challenging for the people even then uh, you are going to transfer there you are also facing a lot of problems so that the uh, transfer of uh, big data is also the challenging and that you are going to analyze you analysis using the analytics techniques there you have to face the lot of problem that is also the challenge analysis uh, is also a challenge and you are going to visualize it you are uh, interested to give in the graphical format then you have to face a lot of problem so these all are the challenges in the big data so now let us see here friend what are the various categories of big data so generally and the basically the big data are categorized in three part that is the structured unstructured and the semi structures let us see details about these three categories of big data so first I start with the structured what do you mean by the structured big data and any data that can be stored, accessed and processed in the form of fixed format is known as a structured data. Talent in computer science have achieved better success in emerging techniques for working with such kind of data where the format is well known in advance and also driving value of it. So, friend you know what is actually a structure this is the general term. So, uh, before going to uh, store your data first you have to define the uh, structure. Let us see one example in a relational data, data base come under the uh, structure means uh, before going to uh, store the data in a database first you have to create the uh, structure of a table. Let us uh, suppose you want to uh, store the uh, information about the uh, student, but first you have to decide what type of uh, uh, information you are going to uh, store uh, about the student. Let us see for here example, name, class, roll number, address, gender, 
uh, and many more uh, address if you are interested to add you can add first you have to decide the column name and then in that you can uh, store the data first you have to create the table and then uh, store the record that means you have to uh, define the uh, structure and the format before going to uh, store the data so that come under the uh, structure so here however certain issues have arises when size of uh, when size of such data grow to a enormous extent means you are going to store the data in a relational databases and that become very large and enormous data so it will be difficult for you people to uh, store in the uh, structured data you know uh, how uh, picture data are uh, stored in the database in the relational i'm talking about the relational database because relational database is the a structure so you can't store the image or picture directly in the database you are going to store a picture or image in your database you are storing only the url of that picture but that picture is stored somewhere else and picture video that all come under the big data so that a huge amount of data and they typically size are being in the range of multiple gigabyte so data kept in a relational database management system is one example of a, a structured data and you also can say c programming come under the uh, structure that means you have to first define the uh, structure before going to uh, store the data it is not possible to uh, store the data in a database without uh, defining the uh, structure of a database before going to uh, design the uh, structure of a database first you have to think about the attributes and field what uh, type of field should be there first you are taking the field then you have to define the nature of a field whether that field or attribute is a text a, a numerical integers float date a boolean first you have to define then you are choosing the next uh, parameter attributes or field then you have to again give the uh, type of uh, that field then the next type means first you have to define each and every things and a particular field you want to make it the key field so in predefined uh, uh, structure should be there then you are able to uh, store the data in the database so first you have to make the structure and then store the data so you can say the example of a structure a structure that is storing the data in the relational database now let us uh, discuss uh, about the on a structure so on a structure is the another kind of big data so any type of data with unknown forms or the structure is classified as a on a structured data in addition to the size being enormous on a structured data poses multiple challenges in term of its processing for driving the value out of it so friend you know in the case of on a structure big data there is no predefined format and a structure to a store the data so here you are going to uh, store the data just like a video so there is no format of exactly the video and uh, front page of a magazine you want to uh, store in a database so there is no predefined format to uh, store the data and uh, you know friend here uh, on a uh, google data that all are the unstructured data Uh, means uh, video audio it is etc all are stored there but there is no predefined format in which you can uh, store the uh, data and uh, addition to uh, this uh, there is a huge amount of data are uh, stored and the multiple challenges in term of processing for driving out the value so it is very difficult for the people to process the unstructured data because it is a huge amount and uh, size is unstructured and uh, enormous data so it is very difficult for the people to process the unstructured data and on a google you are searching something you are getting the video audio etc so that come under the unstructured uh, uh, big data 
So, let us see your example of unstructured data is a heterogeneous data source that containing a group of simple text, file, image, video, etcetera. Nowadays, organizations have wealth of data available with them, but unfortunately, they do not know how to drive value out of it, since in this data is in raw form or unstructured format. So, in the case of uh, unstructured data, there is a mixed data in that uh, there some data are text data, some data are images data or picture data, some video data, it is etc. These all data all combined together. So, there is very difficult to define the format. So, there is no format may be sometimes uh, text data is there, sometimes video data is there, sometimes image data is there. So, huge amount of uh, all type of data are combined all together. So, it is very difficult to define the format and also difficult to process the data and also the data is in the raw form or the unstructured format. There is no specific format and you can see the example you are going to search the data on the Google. First, you want to search a particular term on the uh, Google, then the result returned by the Google is the example of uh, uh, unstructured data. Friend, you know you are going to search, you are using the search engine, any search engine, Google search engine in or other search engine, you want to search a particular thing. So, uh, suppose you want to search a, uh, something about a, a teacher, so uh, various uh, similar type of data will be flashed on your SQL screen so that all data coming that may be come in, in the form of a video, in form of a picture, in form of a text. So, various things will appear on, a, uh, or on your a screen when you are going to search. So, Google uh, search return is the example of on a structure. Then you have to refine that search and get the particular informations. Now, let us uh, see what is semi structure. So, friend, you know the difference between the structure and the on structure. Now, we are discussing here the semi structure, what is exactly the semi structure. So, semi structure data can contain both the form of data. Semi structure data is uh, structured in form, but it is actually not defined. For example, a table definition. In RDBMS, uh, example of semi structure is a data represented in XML file. Semi structure data example, personal data stored in the XML. So, friend, you know, let us see in the uh, other word uh, what is exactly the semi structure data. So, here you can say the semi structure data that may contain the both format of data and that semi structure is also the structure sometimes uh, it is the predefined and somewhere data is not predefined means uh, some uh, part of the data are uh, well defined and some part of the data are not defined and if some format are defined and some format are not not defined so with the two all combined together uh, you can say this is the uh, semi structure and you know the example just uh, just a uh, you are going to define a table in RDBMS. In the RDBMS, you are going to create a table to uh, store the data that uh, come under the uh, structure and also you can say the semi structure data is a representational in XML. So, you are going to use the XML. XML is the unstructured uh, XML uh, data and the also the a uh, table in the relational. So, you can say the best example of semi structure. So, you are going to uh, store the data of a human being and personal data in XML form. Now, you are going to store some information in a structure form like in RDBMS in the MS Excel, but somehow people are going to store that data that converted into the XML file. So, you are storing the data, personal data in XML file that come under the semi structure. So, friend uh, that all about the big data characteristics that uh, structure, on structure and semi structure. So, it is clear uh, difference among these uh, three. Now, let us see here uh, what are the big data characteristics. So, here uh, I am discussing only the four big data characteristics, volume, variety, velocity and variability. 
uh, a part of uh, these four uh, people also added some more uh, uh, character uh, characteristics that is the value veracity but these all are only the basics one but you can maybe add it uh, people researchers also added the more v so this is the four v volume variety velocity and uh, uh, variability but uh, other two or three v added like value veracity but i will discuss about these all basics uh, uh, characteristics of big data so let us see here what exactly the volume volume is the characteristics of big data you can identify the big data with the help of a volume if you want to identify a particular data whether that data is a big data or a normal data so according to the volume you can judge the given data and you have a data that is the big data or not so the name big data itself is related to size which is in our uh, enormous size of data play very key role in determining value out of data a, a specific data can actually be considered as a big data or not is dependent upon volume of data hence volume is one characteristic which need to be considered while dealing with big data so friend you know here you have a various types of data and you have to decide whether the given data is a big data or a normal data so according to the volume you can decide uh, the given data having the uh, you having a data that is the big data if the volume of data in a petabyte in jettabyte so that is the big in volume so you can say it is a big data so volume is one characteristics that define the big data it means uh, it is clear to you if data is represented in the petabyte jettabyte so that uh, come under the big data means you can see huge amount of data are available so that huge amount of data you can say that is the volume so uh, it is clear now with this lecture that the volume is one of the one characteristics for deciding whether the data is a big data or not so according to the volume i discuss about the big data now let us uh, move towards the another characteristics uh, that is known as the variety so according to the variety you can classify the data is a big data so let us see here variety is state to heterogeneous source and the nature of data both structure and unstructured earlier as feed sheets and the databases were the only source of data considered by most of the applications data in the form of email photos videos monitoring devices pdf audio etc is also being considered in the analysis applications the variety of unstructured data poses certain issues for storing mining and analysis uh, analyzing the data friend let us see here understand the variety Uh, of a data variety is a characteristics of a big data how can you understand the variety what is variety so friend you know you have a variety of data different different uh, characteristics of a data come under the variety so what are the variety of data suppose you have some huge amount of data but that data i have the text photo video a pdf so all different variety of data you can say email is one variety of data photo is another variety of data video is a other variety of data means you are going to mix various variety of data all together and you can say a spreadsheet and the database that were all source for data consider most of the applications means you have a applications to process the data first you have to store the data in the spreadsheet or a database packages 
before going to analysis the data first you have to uh, store the data in any uh, software packages like a uh, spreadsheet in ms excel your data are uh, stored in the uh, spreadsheet then you can analyze that all data by summing it finding the average it or you can draw the pie chart uh, and other type of uh, graphs and if you have also the uh, in other case if your data is not in the uh, spreadsheet your data is in a database so you have to retrieve the data from there and you can analyze how can you analyze suppose you have a huge amount of data and you want to search the people residing in delhi so first you have to fire a query that uh, select a star from the particular table and give the condition then you can get the people residing in the delhi in this way you can process the data so here the concept of variety of data so you uh, you have a variety of data then you can say these all data are come under the big data that big data uh, characteristics is the variety and the next uh, that uh, v is known as the velocity so velocity also determine the whether the data is a big data or not or traditional data so velocity is a factor and that is the parameter that will be used in deciding about the big data so the term velocity refer to the speed of generation of data and how fast the data is generated and process to meet the demand determines real potential in the data so friend let us see here the another characteristics of uh, big data that is the velocity what is the uh, speed of uh, data transfer how at what uh, speed your data are transfer from one place to another place friend you know you know you are using the whatsapp in one second how many video you are transferring from one place to another place is in one second or one minute one video will be uh, spread all over the world in the limited amount of time so you can imagine what is the uh, speed and uh, in your mobile phone in one day your mobile memory is full because a huge amount of data coming to your mobile and uh, stored in your uh, memory and that memory is wasted so you have to delete that all data on daily basis or weekly basis so imagine what is the uh, speed of a uh, data and in one second huge amount of data are coming and huge amount of data are transfer from one place to another places so a speed of data is very high if uh, you have coming the data in very high speed then you can say that is the big data so velocity is also the factor to decide whether the data is a big data or not so velocity is also the characteristics of the big data now here see big data velocity deal with the speed at uh, which data flow in from source like business processes applications logs networks and social media site sensors mobile devices it is a the flow of data is massive and continuous friend you know here if we are dis discussing about the velocity and the sensor network they are transmitting data from one sensor to another sensor and from after sensing the data from the sensor it is transferred to the particular databases particular computers and also the network and the social media sites if you are using the facebook you are using the whatsapp you can imagine what amount of data are flow in a minute in a second in a hour if you, you see your mobile phone within a uh, 10 minutes within a 10 uh, second you will getting huge amount of uh, data and a speed of that data are very high and the data is massive and the continuously data is flowing uh, flow from one device to another device all mobile devices are communicating to each other in the high speed of data so friend you know in the uh, previous slide i discussed that how the data speeds are uh, there that means 2.9 million uh, message uh, email are sent uh, every second and 20 hours video uploaded every minutes so with your mobile phone if you are using the whatsapp you can imagine and realize 
how many data are flow from one mobile to another mobile, how many data you are getting in one second and how many data that data may be video, audio, a text you are sending and in one minute you can send millions of people data uh, from one mobile devices and then you can imagine a second person send the millions of uh, data. So, how, what uh, the uh, speed you expect is very huge uh, high speed data are uh, transferred from one place to another place. Now, the next uh, that the uh, characteristics of the uh, big data that is the variability. So, this refer to the inconsistency which can be shown by the data at time thus hampering the process of being able to handle manage the data effectively. So, there are very inconsistency in the, the data that is shown by its uh, data at a time. So, suppose you have a data various data and there is a inconsistency in the data that hamper the process of being to handle and manage the data effectively. So, there are various uh, variability you can say uh, there is a problem say, of inconsistency that uh, your address in your department is X uh, and another address uh, same address uh, in dean office is different name is same you are X and the address is Y in your department and P in the dean office that means there is a con inconsistency in your address. So, if there is a inconsistency in data, so there will be a problem and that hampering the process uh, to uh, be handle the message the data effectively. Suppose let us see here your address in department X and uh, your department uh, in uh, dean office is uh, Y. So, dean office want to send a letter to your home, they will send at the wrong address because your uh, address is X and that address is correct in your department because you are coming the department regularly. So, you can update your address, but you are not going regularly to the dean office. So, that is the inconsistency. So, there will be inconsistency which can shown the data at the time hampering the process of being able to handle manage the data effectively. So, friend uh, today I am going to uh, stop here from the next time I will discuss more about uh, it uh, and uh, for your reference you can see this references and you can get more information about uh, it. Uh, and friend, I hope you enjoy my lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Alam. And we thank you all for joining us for this live lecture. If you have any question regarding this session, you may write into us on our mail ID, which is info.cec at nic.in. Thank you for joining us. And thank you, Dr. Alam.